today's story. Under the intense midday sun of the African savanna, the landscape stretches out as a vast sea of dry grass and scattered acacia trees. Through the shimmering heat, four Australopithecus move with steady purpose. Their compact, muscular bodies covered in brown fur and simple jaguar skin loincloths swaying in the warm breeze. As they move through the dry vegetation, one of them notices something unusual. Hidden beneath a pile of branches lies a massive nest. Inside six giant eggs from a prehistoric peacock, their deep blue and iridescent green shells shine in the harsh midday light like ancient gemstones. The group quickly gathers the eggs, placing them carefully into primitive bags made from hardened hide. they run across the savanna, leaving behind a trail of golden dust rising in the warm wind. Back at the empty nest, a huge shadow suddenly passes overhead. The mother peacock, an enormous prehistoric bird, lands with a heavy thud. Her feathers open like a radiant fan, glowing with greens, blues, golds, and reds. She searches frantically for her missing eggs, shaking the ground with each powerful beat of her wings, before charging in the direction of the hominid's trail. The four Australopithecus reach their settlement, a cluster of circular huts made of mud, logs, and dry leaves. There, they present the eggs to the elder, a white-furred leader with a deep, thoughtful gaze. With ritual-like care, he paints tribal patterns onto the eggs using natural pigments. Spirals, dots, and geometric shapes under the bright midday sun. The eggs are placed in the perfect circle at the center of the village. And the tribe begins a rhythmic dance around them. their feet striking the ground and lifting swirls of golden dust. A moment of celebration fills the air, but the ritual is suddenly broken. A powerful wing beat echoes through the settlement, followed by a sharp, piercing call. The giant peacock bursts into the village,
feathers blazing with color. Pushing aside huts and sending dust into the air as it charges toward the painted eggs. The Australopithecus respond with urgency. They raise sticks and stones, attempting to drive the enormous bird back. The battle becomes chaotic. Giant feathers sweeping across the ground, hair-covered bodies dodging blows, golden dust floating everywhere. Amid the chaos, the white-furred elder approaches slowly but deliberately. He circles the conflict and positions himself between the bird and the eggs. With all his strength, he pushes against the massive creature, sending it off balance and crashing against a large rock. The giant bird collapses under the relentless midday sun. With the danger gone, the tribe gathers around the fallen animal. They construct a wooden stretcher from logs and vines to carry the huge body toward the central fire. There, the meat is cooked over hot stones, while others pluck the enormous feathers, sorting them by size and color. Once the feast is over, the tribe begins crafting new ceremonial skirts using the bright peacock feathers. Tied with plant fibers, the skirts shine vividly under the sunlight as the Australopithecus move with pride. camera rises slowly, revealing the tribe celebrating the around the painted eggs. eggs. The, hunt was good. the white furred elder standing beside them, the colorful feather skirts swaying in the breeze, and the fire still burning at the village center. In the vast African savanna, a moment of danger transforms into a celebration of unity, identity, and survival.